once you trace the exterior walls and and design also the interior walls your rooms you just want to make sure that uh, the dimensions are more or less what you're looking for and the best way to do that uh, you need to re uh, do, you need to do the dimensions uh, and and make adjustments you need to go to the dimensions and this one is the dimension tool tool right here and click on the arrow and I'm going all the way to auto exterior dimensions I click I, I right I left click on this one and my dimensions or are designed already on on my plan all I need to do is I need to do adjustments to the dimensions and and, uh, and make sure that those are the dimensions that I need so in order to do that I start me with, with my um, um, garage let me click on this wall and make the go uh, uh, clockwise and click on this wall right here and shows uh, the I'm going to make the change right here and I'm going to put 24 feet and I click on the wall and the, and the wall changes and I got the 24 feet here this dimension from here to here I need it to be 18.3 so what I do I click on this wall here I click on the dimension and I make the changes to 18.3 I click on the wall and I, I got my 18.3 this wall right here I need I need that one to be, to be uh, 5.3 and it is 5.3 here This dimension right here, it shows that it is this dimension right here shows that it is two, three, seven, eight. So I, I need this dimension to be two eight. I click on this wall and changes to two eight. So I click on this wall, I click on the dimension, and it's 19.3. This dimension, click on this one, click on this one, and I'm going to change it to 16.10. And now this dimension, I'm going to click on this one, my dimension, total dimension should be 52.9. Um, the, the next thing is I need to do this dimension right here I need this dimension to be uh, 2 feet and, and I'm going to change it to 2 feet well the next thing is I need to get this one over here so I click on this one I, I click on this one and this one needs to be 11.4 and I already adjust this one from here to here and now I'm going to get this one over here I click on this over here
and uh, I get click on this dimension and uh, I need 13 6 and now this dimension I need this dimension um, 9 10 Now this dimension, uh, like this one, and the width is, I need this 75. Now this dimension, I click on this, and I have inches. Yeah, this dimension. This one, and this one. Um, the only thing I need to do is adjust my my interior walls, adjust it to that. You click on the and you get this up, you get this button over here, you click on it and you adjust it to, to that to, to to the same level. This one goes a little bit more or less and I'm gonna leave this opening. Uh, this um utility room I'm going to click on this wall and I'm going to click on the dimension and the dimension is 36 I need this one to be 4 I click on the wall and it changes to 3 4 um, this dimension I want it to be this dimensions. I click on this wall and I get this dimension here. And this one needs to be, I click on this one, it needs to be 15 feet. Um, the next thing I want to do is my um, master. This master need, I need it to be uh, 15 4. I click on this wall, this one, 15 4. This dimension here, uh, A4. Um, I need to do check this dimension for this bedroom and uh, I need it to be 11 feet 4 inches with the walls including the wall so it's 11 8 let me change it to 11 4 this closet needs to be uh, 2 4 This other one, same thing. It's already there. That's, the dimension is good. And this dimension is already is fine. I need to adjust this one. Right there. And I need to adjust this entrance here and my hall here I need it to be uh, like 3 8 and 
my air condition or oh, this opening here I need it I need this one only uh, right there and this is my air condition and my closet and I already have my design with dimensions um, if I want to get interior dimensions inside I go again to, to my here where I have my ex exterior dimensions and I'm going to put end-to-end -end dimensions instead of the out outside exterior dimensions in here I'm going to click on end-to-end -end dimensions I'm going to need this dimension I'm going to need this dimension here for, for the kitchen I'm going to need this dimension for my living room I need to get this dimension and I need also this dimension here I need this dimension I need this dimension I need this dimension this one this dimension and also I need this dimension and how big my uh, master bed is this, this one right with this one and this dimension I need it to be by six so I need to change this one because I need to make a entrance here for my um, door and now I, I do have now the, the entrance here for the door and um, what once that I, I, I design my dimensions I already know that those are the dimensions that I that I like for the plan and um, and um, um, is how I start um, getting my dimensions together.